So before I start off with this post that I came across, which I I kind of feel that is very discouraging, especially for what this employer is asking for and in return what he's offering. Right? You know, people in the trucking industry, us drivers in the trucking industry, we are very, very, very underpaid. Underpaid, underprivileged, disrespected. Uh, we're, we're, we're just, I, I don't know. At one time, trucking used to be looked at as one of the, as one of the top industries to, to drive for. We looked at it as a respectable thing, but now with so many with, with so many trucks out there on the road and so many companies out there that's coming into play and people playing with other people's money and and just chop, 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 chopping it down. It's very disrespectful to me to come across uh, a company. I, mean, I, I believe this is an owner op looking for a driver to drive flatbed. Let's break it down. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. CDL A flatbed driver, Fort Worth, Texas, must be able to drive a manual transmission. Now, a lot of you that's coming out here, especially going through these two cent schools and, and these companies, Y'all not training out of a, uh, of a manual. Y'all training out of an automatic. So first thing first, when, when you come into this industry and you're looking to get into driving the truck, you will want, especially if you're paying for it, you will want to train out of a manual because a lot of these small companies that 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 pretty much will treat you a little bit more fairly they might not have automatic trucks i'm just saying but this guy right here saying that you must be able to drive a manual but check out how much he is willing to pay you to drive a flatbed now he wants you to do flatbed meaning that there's going to be tarping, there's going to be strapping, there's going to be a lot of physical work when you're doing flatbed. This man want to pay you $22 an hour plus OT after 40 hours. He say pay bumps up to $24 an hour after 90 days. So after you stay on with him making the same amount of money that Burger King and McDonald's workers and Amazon workers and 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 anybody else work regular folk working at $20 an hour, he said, "Hey, you stay with me for 3 months." I will bump it up an extra four freaking dollars. He say must be willing to stay out one night a week, emergency only. He said you will be hauling wood product. But check this out. You would think he would ask like for experience. Now I'm assuming that to do to do flatbed with him, you already have to know about flatbed. So he's asking not for six months, not for a year, but he's asking for a full two year flatbed experience for $22 an hour <laughs> 
Come on, bro. Don't don't make me laugh, man. Come on. Come on. You 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 cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. You asking for somebody that been driving flatbed, strapping, throwing straps, tarping, and everything else that's that that's physically comes with flatbed. You asking them, a two-year driver now, you, you've been out here for two years. You know what I'm saying? You've been out here for two years now, and you're offering $22 an hour. Come on now, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. This, this must be an April Fool's joke. It gotta be. It gotta be. I I I don't understand it. It's it, it it don't have no contact information. I guess you gotta get in contact with them via Facebook. But then again, that's these fly by night Facebook companies. These the companies that you really gotta look out for. You gotta look out for these type of companies. Now, I can understand if he came and be like, yo, you know, six months and I'll train type deal. You know, somebody that don't have flatbed experience, but they want to get in and, and try to get, you know, get with flatbed six months, you know, maybe maybe three and you offering them twenty two dollars an hour. I get it. That person don't have no experience. You have to take time to train them. I get it. I understand that. But you asking a whole two year experienced driver. So let's say that 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 two year driver that you asking, maybe maybe he's driving for the lights of TMC. Maybe he's driving for the likes of Decker. Maybe he's driving for the likes of Melton or, or Maverick. Those companies that only requires you, that only that requires you to come in with no experience and they are train you. Here you are asking for a whole two years. So let's say the person again went through the rigmarole of getting his experience in flatbed you know maybe driving for maybe about 50 50 cent a mile that's about a little bit over if he does about three thousand miles that's a little bit over a little bit over a grand a week plus extra for tarpon plus extra for what else they 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 give the driver you're not offering nothing else but 22 dollars an hour you sir are offering very little for a lot you gotta know how to drive a manual you gotta be two years experience and you're only paying 22 dollars a mile I don't know, I hope I don't fall. <laughs>